Well, my name is Eric Jones. Uh, joined the military in 1969. Hi, I'm Monica Lewis-Jones. You're with my husband, Eric Jones. We have been married for over 30 years. 35. 35? Something like that. Something like that. We have a tremendous blended family uh, of five children and 10 grandchildren. I was with the 1st Infantry Division in the southern part of South Vietnam. It was quite an experience knowing what you're walking into. I was really feeling real tired, and I was losing a lot of weight. Monica said, all right, come on, we, we need to go to the doctor. I'm Ravi Parikh. I am a medical oncologist here at the Philadelphia VA Medical Center. The VA, part of its core mission, has a goal of providing the exact same level of high quality care to every single veteran that walks through its doors. Coming to the VA for 30 some years, my primary care person was very familiar with me. And she said, oh, something must be wrong. Your wife is here. She ordered me to take a chest x-ray. So she said, Mr. Jones, you have uh, lung cancer. I said, oh my goodness. So she said, uh, have you been having any headaches or anything of that nature? And I was. She said, well, I want you to take a MRI. So they take the MRI and it comes back. I found out that I have a tumor on my brain. and. You can't go home tonight. We, we have to admit you in the hospital right away. I met Eric. I, uh, he walked into the office. I explained what we saw on the MRI. And I said, we need to get you over to the emergency room and then to a neurosurgery service. Now, outside of the VA, this would have been difficult. And Eric had his surgery the next day. He had a particular type of lung cancer. We treated it aggressively with a combination of radiation and chemotherapy, and then subsequently to that, he's been on immunotherapy, and his disease hasn't progressed. What health equity means is making sure that every patient, no matter race, creed, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, where they live, can have access or has the chance to have access to those therapies. I came to every appointment. I came to- Every appointment. Dr. Parikh was amazing. He and I um, were in communication. He was just amazing throughout the journey. And I have to give him uh, accolades for helping to get us through that. The VA is great for veterans because where we excel is that we're providing comprehensive care. So the goal of VA is to go out and make sure that everyone has equal access to care regardless of where they live. At the VA medical centers, they may not necessarily have oncology, the full breadth of oncology services. And so when we have national tele-oncology, we are seeking to identify which VA medical centers may not have the full breadth of oncology services and deliver disease-specific expertise to those teams. Having that all-hands-on-deck team is critical towards making sure our patients have this wraparound approach um, towards addressing their needs. So many of the drugs coming on the market now are oral, and patients can take these at home without having to come into the clinic. Pharmacists at the VA make sure that patients can have access to any available medication for their cancer. We can do this here in urban centers by seeing patients face to face, but we also use telemodalities to make sure that we can reach the patients at their homes or in rural areas. That really ultimately is what drives me to do the work, is trying to make their days better. After I started coming here with him, on a regular basis to the appointments, I started to really understand the system, just like he did. And the communication means a lot. I just want to uh, thank uh, the VA for uh, their work and continuing their work.